Here are five fashion mistakes that could be making you look less stylish. Fashion mistake number one. Buying clothes that don't fit. Now this may sound obvious, but I'm guilty of doing this in the past. Sometimes you go to a store, you see the cutest outfit, you try on what you think is your size, but it's a little too snug, or it's really loose. Maybe because that brand runs bigger or runs smaller than what your normal size is. But maybe they don't have the appropriate size for you, but you decide to get it anyway because you feel like you can't live without it. So then you wear it a few times, but realizing it just doesn't fit right, you eventually end up just letting it rot away in your closet. It's better to opt for clothes that fit you properly than to buy those absolutely must-have pieces because ultimately they're not going to look great on you if they are not a good fit. You're going to look awkward, you're going to feel uncomfortable, and it'll end up most likely being a complete waste of money. Fashion mistake number two, I've definitely done this, wearing the wrong bra. There have been times in the past where I did not have the appropriate bra for the outfit I wanted to wear, but I really wanted to wear that outfit for whatever reason, and so I picked the next best bra that I thought would work and tried to alter it. More specifically, bra with the strap, I've tucked it in on the sides. This was a little hack <laughs> that a friend taught me in high school, but we were in high school and doing things like that were fine, you know? But as an adult, it kind of makes you look a little, mmm, tackle as my aunt would say. It's just not flattering when you have bulky straps sticking out of the sides of your top. So instead, what I recommend, if you can afford it, is buy various styles of bras. You can also buy the type of bra that allows you to adjust the straps to fit the style of top you're wearing. Additionally, you can buy pasties and opt out of wearing an actual bra. Now, I've been doing this and because I'm smaller chested, it's okay, but if you're heavier chested, you probably do want to stick to wearing bras to <laughs> prevent premature sagging. You're welcome for that tip. All right, moving on. <laughs> Style mistake number three is being too matchy-matchy. Now I do love matching and when done well, you can look really put together. The problem is, is sometimes people think they're matching but they're not and the colors are within the same color family, like all of the colors they're wearing have some level of purple in them, for example, but there are so many varying shades of purple that they actually end up looking like they're clashing. So instead of just choosing a bunch of varying shades of the same color and throwing Throwing them on, I would first look at them all together and make sure they make sense. Style mistake number four, only having one pair of sunglasses. The reason why this is a problem, at least for me, is I've had glasses get damaged and because I didn't have another pair and I was going outside, I just threw on the broken pair of sunglasses. In fact, I've done this quite a bit and one day I realized this was not the move. I should instead get multiple pairs of sunglasses. That way, if a sunglass pair breaks, I can immediately grab a pair that is in good shape. That way, I'm not walking around looking busted because my glasses look lopsided or I've also had the inside rubber piece break off and kept wearing it and the metal just dug into my nose and I lived like this for probably months and I don't know why because all I had to do is go to the store and get a new pair of sunglasses but now I have several pairs so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Style mistake number five, wearing damaged clothes. I've definitely done this for the same reason I've worn busted sunglasses for way too long, is because maybe there's been an outfit or an article of clothing that I really like, but it got damaged, maybe it got a hole in it, a tear in it, maybe it got a stain, and I just really liked the outfit, so I just kept wearing it. Or I tried to hide the blemish and kind of ended up making the outfit look a little bit weird. Like maybe I tried to hide it by like, there's a stain here, for example, I might tuck it in just to hide it and it's like girl just either get it fixed or, or give it away or throw it away you don't need to be walking around with damaged clothes you know now if you can't afford to get your clothes sewn maybe learn how to do a simple stitch for me it's not even an issue of that because I can sew enough to save my life so I can fix the clothes that have holes in them but I just get lazy <laughs> and I procrastinate and then I end up just not doing it at all but one day I decided you know what I deserve better I'm no longer going to go outside 
hide in busted clothes. So for the sake of being stylish and looking put together, I've said goodbye to wearing damaged clothes. Have you made any of these style mistakes? Are you currently making any of these style mistakes? No shade. Like I said, I've done all of these things, but hopefully you'll decide to leave those mistakes behind and join me over here on the other side. All right, I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed for more fashion content. Bye. Cause it's too cold.